All right, so we want to make a graph that represents the hours of daylight over the course of a year. And of course, it depends on your location. But if you take a typical place in the United States, chances are that in the winter, we'll say that month zero is month December, perhaps. In the winter, we've got the lowest amount of daylight. And then we'll say in the summer, which would be around month June, say month six, we would have the highest amount of daylight. And then by the time we get back to month 12, December again, we've got the lowest amount of daylight again. And what's happening over the course of the year is that it is steadily growing and shrinking. So we don't have sharp turns here. We have smooth curves. So it's going to look something like this. And that looks like a sine curve or a cosine curve, some kind of sinusoidal curve, we call it, or periodic curve.